guys, it's Isabel here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell, we're going to be doing another anti MLM Reacts video. So you guys, uh, yeah, today's a very, very chill video. Like I wanted to do something a little bit more relaxed, especially with how spicy I got in the last one. I was like, okay, I'm going to give everyone a little bit of break from me popping off. Anyways, so like literally it is, we're just going to have a really chill kickstart to our week. So again, grab a snack, relax, just vibe today. I literally just got out of the shower. Um, I did my skincare routine and I am just ready to talk about something that was sent to me actually a lot by you guys. So a lot of you guys actually sent me a video clip of some major news that was happening in a specific MLM called Unique. A lot of you guys know that. It is a makeup slash beauty MLM. Anyways, I haven't talked about them in a long time. Well, I have several of you send me a video of some information of pretty much about a top leader getting terminated, aka fired, from her MLM. Yes, you heard me, fired. So naturally, I thought this was super interesting, so I messaged my best friend Deanna, and I was like, girl, have you heard about this shit? She's like, yes, I was planning on filming a video. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, I was planning on filming one as well. So let's make this into a collaborative, in a sense, videos. So today I'm collaborating with my best friend Deanna because we both wanted to cover this because it's a very interesting topic and because I love when we are able to do this and I love how we have such a similar mind but also different perspectives. If you guys want, I will have her video linked in the description below so you guys can go watch her reaction. She also, uh, from what I know, is covering different little things and details about this. Um, we both have a little bit of some differentiation in here so it's not going to be the same perspective and we're still going to have other things we're going to highlight separate of this so if you guys are interested definitely go down and click the link in the description so before we begin don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below so that you'll be notified of every single video i post and without further ado let's hop into this anti-mlm reacts video let's go All right, guys, so this live was posted up here recently. It was originally posted up on Facebook, but then it was posted up on Instagram. So let's start watching this. The caption says, I never thought I would make this video. My inbox is flooded. I'm trying to message everyone back. Thank you all for the words of encouragement. I love you so much for people who um, don't have Facebook. So I am sharing this video on Instagram. I never thought I would make this video. I still can't believe this has happened. So again, a quick backstory. This individual was a top unique promoter. Let's just let's start reacting. <laughs> I'm sorry, Emily. I know I said that I would jump on in like 15 minutes, but I've just been sitting here just dreading pushing that button and praying that the Lord can help me find the words to say because I'm really having a hard time. I never thought that I would make this life. And I'm just gonna swipe the comments over for a second. So, so many of you know that I, I launched my own collagen company in July. And I've been working on it for a year and a half. And we launched it in July and there's so many reasons why we launched a collagen company. First of all, my hairline was receding. Um, I struggle with rosacea and acne osteoporosis and arthritis run in my family and I tried tons of collagen products and they all taste nasty nasty and I saw an opportunity in the market to create a delicious tasting collagen I also picked that niche because I knew it wouldn't compete with my com my network marketing company <laughs> because of Many of you know I'm with Unique. I've been with them for seven, over seven years. I'm a top leader. I have an amazing team. And I thought they'll never, they'll never go into collagen. They'll never go into the nutrition space. They do makeup and skincare. So I was excited to launch this company with my husband. It's called U Collagen. And we launched it back in July. Okay, let's pause this real quickly. First of all, I just want to say one thing that we know about a lot of MLMs, or if you don't know, there is always a little aspect of the, and you technically are signing a contract when you um, join an MLM, there's always a little aspect of their policies and procedures slash contract that you are signing off saying, um, pretty much saying that you can be terminated for any reason. Literally, you can get cut off done. Every MLM has this. 
And it's very, really messed up, in my opinion. It's absolutely disgusting that somebody has to fear that. But that's the thing is that the business opportunity is not marketed off in a way of, oh, you can get fired for this. Um, it's marketed off in a way of it's your own business. You own your own business. And so far, this video is a beautiful example. And another reason why I wanted to show this of why that is simply not true. Again, I know in the policies and procedures, it says you are not buying into a business opportunity. Um, and again, some people don't see that, so they don't believe it. But right here is a very clear cut example of why so many people of of this happening and of people getting screwed over by their company. So this individual is, again, she was a top leader and unique. I don't think I've ever personally seen her before, but she was a top leader. She had a team. And now I want to make a quick preface and say, I am in no way condoning or cool with any action she has taken as a top leader. That is not cool. Uh, that's not a vibe at all. However, I will say, I will say when a MLM is doing something messy and gross to another individual, absolutely. And even though I don't agree with the actions that she had maybe partaken in to get to the top 1%, um, which was not ethical to say the least, I will say that this is really messed up. This is extremely messed up to see someone be in so much pain because they literally trusted that company so much. Like they literally trusted that company. They, she had been a part of this company for seven years. Seven years, and it's insane. That is a lot of time and effort to put in. Multi-level marketing companies are so fucked. And I, I mean, we know this, but just they have no clarity of products half the time. And we have seen this in, for example, Monet or like so many other companies where Monet came out with their health and wellness line. So many companies now that are multi-level marketing companies, in my opinion, are so desperate for a fucking cash grab, so desperate to expand into anything that will make them money. And to me, it screams desperation, but nonetheless, so desperate to get any way of making money that they will literally step into every little type of market on the planet. For example, pharmacy. They have freaking toothpaste to eyeshadow to bot like all the shit. It's very weird. It's honestly so nasty to me how this poor girl literally worked on her um on a company, which that is something that we encourage. We want people to start their own companies instead of being a part of MLMs. She wanted to make her own company. She wanted to do something by herself. She wanted to call it um what is it? Uh U Collagen. And now she's getting terminated from Unique. Also, one more thing, and a part of me wonders if this is a little bit of the aspect of why she's getting, you know, had to pretty much choose AKA be terminated. Um, I know Unique has had like, again, Unique. They've had like the Uology skincare, I believe. Um, I would have to double check and put uh, screenshots up over here. But they've ran with that like wording before. So part of me wonders if the actual name of the company was another factor into why they were calling her out and AKA saying, hey, you gotta go. I am no way saying that's right. Right, that's really messed up. But overall, this is a, like this is a really messed up situation. So let's keep listening. Straight. I don't even know why I fixed my makeup because I've been crying all day. I have a hard time hiding my emotions. I'm just gonna tell you the truth of what happened. So last week on my birthday, I got a text from our chief sales officer officer saying that he wanted to talk to me and I was like that's random so I I called him and it was on my birthday <laughs> and and he told me that Unique was launching liquid collagen in January end of January so you're telling me this asshole couldn't wait to give her the news after her birthday what a fuck oh my god this poor this is sad and he said don't worry it's not coming until end of January Plus, he told me that they were working on changing the presenter's agreement because as the pre presenter's agreement is now, I would be forced to choose Unique or my company, even though I launched mine first. And I was like, I was shocked. I mean, I was, I was shocked. I had no clue. Hold up. So this absolute unit of an asshole calls her and says, oh, we're changing the pre presenter agreement. So pretty much this is, oh my God, this is so messed up. They're changing the presenter. From what I'm getting from this, they're changing the presenter's agreement. So you can't own anything or do anything outside of Unique. Like that's it. That is it. Because you are considered competition to them. And that is so gross to me because right there, that further proves my point that 
they want you to have dependency on the company, especially if you grow and become successful. They want you to be extremely dependent on them. So if you do have a chance of growing and becoming better, you're screwed. Like you literally, that's it. And so let's say if you're making thousands and thousands of dollars a month, for example, off of Unique and a team, and let's say you want to do something else, you're not allowed to legally. That is on a whole different level of what the hell. I, wow. And not to mention the fact that Unique, the beauty and makeup company that has skincare and makeup. What the fuck are they doing going into collagen? I understand that they're probably gonna go into that because they can market it off as, oh, it's good for skin and nails, beauty, skin and nail, yeah, it makes sense. That's just their way of inching into the health and wellness thing, just like Monet has been doing. They're just trying to find any other way, in my opinion, of making money. The fact that they literally like, hey, um, we're gonna change the agreement. So she pretty much has no choice. She has no choice but to leave this company now because they're like, well, we're gonna change our agreement anyways. Um, and we're also going to be launching our own collagen. What the fuck? I <laughs> I mean, I was, I was shocked. I had no clue, no clue. And that was it. And I said, thank you for the heads up. I appreciate you, you know, letting me know. I really appreciate Ben. Like I appreciate him taking the time to let me know in advance. And then on Saturday night, a friend of mine said, did you see the announcement that Unique is making on Monday? nope, I don't know what's coming. And it wasn't just one friend, it was multiple, which I'm like, how did everybody know about this? I think I was the only person that didn't know. And apparently- Oh, so Unique took the opportunity, from what I'm assuming, to talk to other top leaders and other people part of Unique and pretty much try and say, hey, guess what? So-and-so is gonna have to probably leave here soon. This is so messed up. There was a survey that went around. I didn't get the survey either, okay? No. So I, I appreciate him telling me that they were coming out with this and it would be, he said, don't worry, it's not gonna be till end of January. Plus we're gonna look at getting this presenter's agreement, you know, changed. Possibly, I don't know if they will. And, um, but he did not tell me that they were announcing it on Monday. Ben, if you watch this, I wish you had told me. Oh, his name's Ben? Oh, Ben, you can go fuck yourself. I know she can't say it, but I sure can. Fuck off, Ben. Whoever you are, you're an asshole. You. Um, I'll be honest and straight up with you. You be honest and straight up with me. I wish you had told me. Because several people... This, okay, I feel like she is heavily brainwashed, so she still has the mentality of, like, caring for the company and caring for an individual. As an outsider, if someone does that to you and is very much well aware, they don't have your best interests at heart. They're only worried about the money. They're only worried about what benefits them. People told me on Saturday night. And I'm so grateful that they did, because otherwise I would have been completely blindsided today. I would have found out with everybody else. So I also was surprised that they announced it three and a half months early. I've been with this company and here's the thing. <laughs> Drop a dog emoji if you have dogs. Of course they're gonna bark right now. Here's the thing, I love Unique. <laughs> I'm so sad about it. Again, we're gonna pause this real quickly and there are some parts where she is gonna be crying So I will um, of course skip through that. I think we're witnessing a very sad example of someone getting Rejected by a cult I can only compare this slightly again slightly to a Controlling relationship right where controlled but you love them, right? You love them You're trying to do the best you look at all the positives and then when they really really smack it down and screw you over, you still have that love for that individual. You still feel it in all the emotions and then you're questioning everything and you're like, what did I not do that was enough? And it kind of plays out honestly very similarly in this situation. She's like, I, I love Unique, I still love Unique and that's so sad and honestly, I wonder, I really wonder if it'll give her a couple months and she maybe will start to hate them and realize it. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I really hope that she does because no one deserves to be treated like this and the fact that a company that provides, we care about you, we wanna provide for you, we wanna do everything for you and then they do this, 
Uh Uh-uh, especially when they didn't even give her a heads up. They announced it three months early. Three months early. They did that because they wanted to speed up the process, I'm sure. They didn't need to. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be super honest with you here. You run a big ass company like that, you have some fucking power. You did not need to launch it that quickly. If you could launch it that quickly, you could halt it that quickly. This was a petty move on their end that they wanted to get it out because they, you know, they probably saw the growth and potential that she was making off of people. Because again, if she's the top leader, she has a lot of people underneath her, right? And again, I'm not agreeing with that, but I'm saying if she has a lot of influence in, in with Unique and people that are a part of Unique, those same individuals are seeing her launch her own company and collagen and they're gonna purchase that. So some people maybe that already love her collagen and the chance of her maybe getting more people to purchase that are from the Unique demographic, they probably wanted to speed it up because they saw that she was a major competition, she was racking in sales, and they also were like, oh shit, we need to get ours out so that way our people, our promoters, aka the customers, purchase it instead of hers. That is so nasty. And the fact that they are literally considering this person who's starting her own company a competition instead of a, ooh, let's uplift our sisters, right there proves that they don't give a fuck about you. And I've always thought that, but I truly do not think they ever will give a shit about anyone. I love that I joined this company over seven years ago. It's really helped shape who I am today. It's helped me with my confidence. I'm a different person and I'm changed for the better because of Unique. Um, so that's why this is like so hard. And I thought, you know, because I had a heads up from friends that this announcement was actually happening early. I mean, the product's not even ready. I thought I would be okay today. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And so I resigned today. I never thought I would say those words. I resigned today. As the presenter's agreement is now, I'd be forced to choose between my business, my company that I launched in July, or my network marketing company. And I hope they change it. If you're with Unique, I do. I hope they change it for you because it's, it's what's best for you. And he said that they are, they're thinking about changing it, but... I'm not going to wait to see and find out if they do or not. They've been saying they're going to change it for a long time. I wish it was handled differently, of course. And I, I, it's not fair. I'm not going to close down my collagen company. I have customers that are on subscription created a delicious collagen that works that people are seeing results with i love getting emails and reviews and messages of how much people are loving this and how it's helping them not have pain in their joints and how it's helping their hair grow like crazy and their nails grow like crazy like i love that so much and what does this mean so he told me that People would be able to, that were with Unique, would be able to be affiliates for my college. When someone gets out of an MLM, I'm thankful, I'm happy for them, and I want them to because that's our end goal is to have people get out of these predatory companies. But it breaks my heart essentially seeing a woman, in my opinion, feel like she's losing everything, her identity, her history, everything. Someone who probably, in my opinion, probably has such a mental connection to this company has such a my identity is a new unique type thing and when she starts to branch out of that suddenly the company that she thought would take care of her and give a shit about her fell through and that has got to be such a stomach drop 
feeling like I, uh, holy shit. And many top leaders that were forced to resign or pretty much were, if we're being real here, terminated against their will by Unique. There have been many leaders. There's actually one that I'm gonna be highlighting here towards the end of November that is gonna be about Red Aspen actually. And there is a previous top leader in Unique that is in that company now because of a kind of similar situation. There's multiple people, multiple people um, that who have had this experience and many, many of them haven't spoken out about it, but crazy and their nails grow like crazy. Like, I love that so much. And what does this mean? So he told me that people would be able to, that were with Unique would be able to be affiliates for my collagen until they launch theirs, unless they change the agreement where you can sell competing product as long as it's not with an MLM, which we're not an MLM. So we'll see. We'll wait and see. I honestly don't know what's going to happen. I have been with this company for over seven years and I have never seen them announce a product three and a half months early and in the way that they did. And I asked him about that. I said, why? Why? Why would they announce this product this early? And I'm going to tell you what he said, because this is the truth. I have it in text message. He said, because our BS3s requested it. If you don't know what that means, I know a lot of you aren't even with Unique, so you're like, what is she saying? She's saying this words? I don't know what she's saying. I'm a black size presenter. That's the top rank in the company. But above me, there's BS1, BS2, BS3, black status level three. He said our black status level three presenters requested that we announce it early. Why? I don't know. And here's the thing. I saw somebody said one door opens. There's a different plan. You got this. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here's the thing. This, I'm hoping and praying that this is a blessing. Ow. Holy fucking shit. We're coming to an understanding that some of these top leaders, and I, I really, I'm gonna honestly say, this is something that happens across the board in my opinion in terms of they get a lot of people that are high up that are main money makers and they give them incentives or they give them extra things or more control, more wording, more opportunity to have says and things. We've seen how a lot of people, um, even in Monet or Arbonne, if they're high as shit up, then they have decisions that they can make or they are pretty much sent products early to test like they have a say. And the fact that those high up people who I'm sure were friends with her, who talked with her, who have pretended to support her, were the ones that said, push that shit through faster. Wow, so much for the sisterhood. So much for the, oh, I love you and I'm here to be a mentor. That is fucking disgusting. I don't even care if they're her upline or not. They knew that she existed. They knew the competition she was bringing. They knew what she was capable of and they shut that shit down. And that's what makes me so, and that is why I get so profusely mad at top leaders. And again, I'm not saying that what she ever did to get to the position that she in is okay because it's not. However, seeing this opportunity and there's no cattiness and we love you no 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 this shit is deep down so gross and nasty we're literally witnessing this happen right now as we speak so much is falling apart they're going to be making a lot of money off of those collagen sales and they would much rather them make the money off of those future collagen sales because they know they're going to cash in like no other because if they're at the top Anyone under them that purchases that, they are gonna get a percentage of that and that is gonna make them insane money. And they know, okay, so we need to push this out because we need this to happen faster so we can make more money. Again, I don't know who those people are. I'm gonna look those people up right after I'm done filming because now, now guess what? I don't care, I'll find you. You're on my shit list if you're gonna act like that. Absolutely not. In disguise because the Lord knows me and he knows my heart and I think he knows I would have never left unless I was forced. Because I'm probably loyal to a fault. So I'm hoping, I'm praying, this is a blessing in disguise and that it's all gonna work out. And at this point, I'm just giving it to God. He knows what's best. He wasn't surprised. <laughs> he wasn't like, well, didn't see that one coming. He knew that it was gonna happen. He knows the plan. So I'm gonna give it to him and put my trust in him. 
And my Y sisters, I love you so much. And I want you to know you can do anything that you set your heart to. You really can. You really can. Anyways, I'm sorry I didn't read the comments. I have been a mess. I've been a mess. And there's so many messages, and I promise I'll get to you. I just had to turn off my phone today and just have a minute. I drove to Swig. I got a 32-ounce soda, which I don't drink soda, and I got my favorite cookie, and I ate my feelings. I did. And I don't regret it one bit. Anyways, I love you so much. Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you so much for, if you have purchased the collagen, like, thank you for supporting my small family business. <laughs> and I love you for it. It means the world to me. And I'm sad that this happened. I didn't see it coming. I'm sad that it happened. So again, we're gonna pause this right here because that was the it, that was it for the live. Um, so again, she did resign, and her video actually popped off big time on Facebook. Um, and a lot of people are commenting how pissed off they were about this. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I truly hope that her speaking up about this and being true and honest, I hope it fucks their sales. I really do. I really hope any outside now, mind you promoters are the customers essentially so there are still gonna have a booming amount of collagen sales what i've seen i was talking with deanna about this we were talking about a lot of the comments and things and i wasn't able to look through that and again she she talks about a lot of comments and things like that but i believe there were some people and this is messed up there were some people from what deanna was telling me that were trying to recruit her during this live people from saint which again y'all know saints on my shit list um but a bunch of people from definite mlms were trying to recruit her and she was like i'm not joining an mlm again so right there i'm proud of you queen because again we're witnessing something that so many people experience quietly you know what i mean silently and by themselves this individual probably is gonna have some people not talk to her anymore those top level people the level three level two i don't give a shit people like that they're probably not gonna associate with her anymore even though they're like oh my god we support you i love you they're no that's not how this works. They're going to cut her off and they're not going to talk to her anymore or associate with her anymore because they're going to want to be in with Unique more than they are with this girl. I can't even imagine experiencing that, feeling completely shunned alone and by yourself from a company you thought that was going to care about you from corporate side to the friend side and the team. That is on a whole level of fucked. And here's another thing that pisses me off. Somebody's gonna get her team. Oh, somebody probably above her. Maybe an asshole that screwed her over. Guess what? They're gonna get that. They're gonna get whatever check, whatever money she's making. They're cashing in a lot. Simply because this girl had to leave on a whole different level of nasty. And I'm just pissed about it, if I'm being real with you here. And that is what's so sad to me, is there are literally other people that have spoken up, um, that she has even reposted, um, talking about how they have experienced the same thing. And the sad thing is, is I will, I will give it to her. She had a lot of confidence to speak up about this, because not a lot of people did. And she actually reposted somebody who was talking about the fact that that something similar happened to her and she had to resign. I feel it on my heart to actually say something this time. Maintained very swift an approach to my exit from unique my only real comment on it is sometimes other doors close so that other ones can open and sometimes it's the right thing that happens in your life where you should be focusing on something that brings you joy like everything is super personal and you feel like you're getting that respect back until you don't and then once you don't that's when your eyes just kind of open that it's just not the right space for you to be in and that's a little bit about what been with me uh with the cso of the company and the same thing is happening to jenny and again i feel like a lot of them still have this mentality of they can't talk shit on unique or some of them know that they legally cannot which is really sad i've seen a lot of times where companies have come have gone after people so hardcore um that they have in fact gone sued or threatened legally and again i'm gonna be real with you here how, do i really know how she was able to share that on facebook absolutely not um but if if this woman hasn't filed been filed a cease and desist or been threatened with legal action um i don't think anyone's gonna go after her legally anyways all i gotta say is i'm very thankful she shared this because it needs to be it needs to be because this is a beautiful example of what can happen and what will happen to a lot of people if you get in a company's way like this and again this has happened many times with unique already that was it for today's video that was a little bit of commentary and reacting to all this all i'm gonna say is that was a mess but i really want people anyone whether you are in an mlm you're not from any in, in any mlm for that matter 
Please look at this and understand this happens to people a lot, whether it's silently and people don't vocalize it or it is vocalized just like this individual did. I have a last statement of I do wish her well. I really hope that she is able to take this time and start kind of waking up to, okay, they really didn't, this wasn't a good thing. And I think she's starting to. Um, but that's all we can hope for at this point. I feel absolutely heartbroken that she was treated like complete shit. But I'm hoping with um, all of this she's able to learn and I just, I hope that good things come her way that she's out. So that was it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget again to go check out Deanna's video and her channel. And I will see you all in the next video tomorrow. Stay glad, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.